Unfortunately, there were a lot of things that were actually hampering women's progress. A woman could not open an account without, unless you were working in an institution, then the institution would give you a letter to go and open the account. Mm -hmm. If you were going on your own, a man should sign that, yes, I agree that she can open an Even your son can sign for you. And you, the woman, the mother, you can have open an account. If you wanted a loan, some guy should sign for you when you are going to pay for the loan. You know, so all those things, we had laws made to take them away. Women could own land, but only after a man has signed that, yes, I have agreed. All those things, step by step, step by step, I was going to Mrs. Annie Jaggi. I was talking to her. She was advising me, look, this, this has been on the table forever, and I think we should do it now. But I will write it for you. Go and present it to your husband and let them pass it as a law. And then you go around and propagate it. Mm -hmm. So I was working very, very closely with this very, very dynamic uh, mm -hmm. lady here, uh, who was also a family member from my, my husband's side. And she advised me in a lot of ways, even though I must say that I myself, uh, uh, I'm tough as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> a little, a little. We all know that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell me about it. We all know. We are here because of your toughness anyway. <laughs> so, so, you know, I, I listened to her, followed her advice, and it worked for me. And then got um, two gentlemen. Um, one from Ashanti region, one from the Volta region. T they were lawyers mm. to be with me and guide me in what I was doing. But there were other women also with the group working and so on. But to get things done, I literally had to. And that's how we got <sighs> here. I mean, yeah. we've seen how women have gotten to the positions they've gotten to based on the form of empowerment they got, mm. you know, years ago. And things keep changing because some people were resilient mm -hmm. and they said there has to be something around women. We have to find ways to make women contribute to national development. And that's what African Women's Voices is all about. We always want to amplify such efforts. That's why we have Mrs. Rollins here today because aside, you know, talking about local fabrics and we mentioned her, when it comes to national development, she is also a force to reckon with in gathering women to ensure that they are better than the way they used to be.